Hello everybody, Dave here again, Online Motorsports, Plainfield, Illinois. What I'm going to do for you in this video here is just go over a, some key points on our uh, highly modified 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Um, this car is presently live on Bring a Trailer as we speak as I'm doing the video. I'm going to break this vi these videos down to maybe two or three videos, just covering some of the components what they do, what they mean. It's just not a modified SRT. It's one uh, meets and exceeds demons, red eyes, even uh, most categories in that 2023 SRT Demon 170 that's coming out. Uh, I've had uh, quite a few people coming through uh, the uh, contact seller asking about with all the modifications, why are we only at 800 horsepower? Well, that's where this car starts. This car has been tuned down to around 800 horsepower, the, the owner that commenced the, uh, the build on there, what he was looking for, he wasn't looking for something to take to the strip and burn the back tires off of, even though this car's more than capable of doing it. He was looking for a very driver-friendly street sleeper car. That's why he built this car this way. The car's got about 400 miles on it since the build. It's never been tracked. It's never been, you know, it's been dynoed and it's been driven. It hasn't been driven hard and, uh, Previous owners just going on to another project. That's that's where that's where he gets off is doing these types of builds, puts them in his mind, puts them on paper, and away he goes. But anyway, I'm we're gonna start with the drivetrain in this video, and then we'll break down some of the interior features and suspension features and some uh, and some future uh, future videos coming up. First of all, this is the original engine of the SRT8. It's been hand built to a uh, 426 stroker. It's 10 to 1 compression ratio, uh, Apache cylinder heads. It's got ACL main bearings, ACL rod bearings. Um, it's got a ARP Hemi main studs. Um, it's got a Melling Select Performance oil pump. We can get some oil through that engine. Um, it's got manly push rods for intake and exhaust. Sitting in the middle there is the Kenny Bell Mammoth. This is a 4.2L. Uh, version of these superchargers. It's liquid cooled. Even looking at that new 2023 uh, Demon 170, they're running a 3.0L supercharger. The supercharger meets and exceeds that one by a bunch. Um, now, as far as uh, other uh, other modifications, it does have a water methanol injection kit. Uh, Hellcat valve covers give it a good look uh, But with this this is tuned you can run e85 you can run 87 you can run 91 octane and that system will automatically Make the change for that now obviously your e85 is your higher octane So you can run that if you like you can run regular pump gas through here, which is a plus um, As far as transmission goes that's an RPM transmission level 5 4L80 E transmission. Um, it's also got a Precision Industries 4L80 E uh, Hemi custom torque converter with a 3000 stall. It's shifter wise, it's uh, been replaced with a B&M Quicks, uh, Quicksilver shifter. So that's the basics there. Now, as far as the rear end, rear end again. That's not the original rear end in this car. Um, Get to my notes. So there's so much to go over on this car. It's it's very hard to consume all this in your in your memory but As far as uh, it's a nine inch uh, strange aluminum housing bolt through case 33 spine stubs 1400 pound axle and hubs uh, Gear ratio is a 3.25 Drive shaft is a custom built chromoly three and a half inch drive shaft uh, to you know, and that bolts to your nine nine inch Ford uh, billet yoke. Um, now that's that's just getting into the, the drivetrain components. We haven't gotten them to them all. If you're online or on looking at this uh, on bring a trailer, you can go to pictures 235 to 238, which are going to give you a basically a Reader's Digest version of all those receipts. Now the whole build was done by modern muscle here in Plainfield, Illinois. So it wasn't subbed out to three, four, five different uh, 
mechanics to where they uh, they all start button heads together and say hey, it should have been done this way or it should have been done that way. Modern Muscle does it right. I've uh, I know the guys over there personally. I have sold a lot of their builds in the past, and I'm sure I'll be doing it in the future. But uh, they're really a super builder. If you uh, if you're looking into uh, modifying your car and you're here in the Midwest or somewhere near close to the Midwest, give those guys a call over there. And uh, they don't just do more parts. They'll do GM, Chevy, old, whatever. You bring them a lawnmower, and I'll make it a thousand horsepower if you got enough money to do it. So I'm going to conclude this video and then uh, we're going to do an interior and then just some uh, other accessories that some people are may or may not be aware of so stay tuned folks we got more coming at you